Hey guys, so today I have a really fun video for you guys. I am doing a collab with my good friend Laura Jean. Thank you so much. I love her videos. She is amazing. I will link her channel down below. Today I am going to be doing tips on how to survive high school and she is doing more of tips on how to survive life video. So you should definitely check her out. She has amazing quality videos. Her editing is on point and she does more like lifestyle, beauty, fashion videos. This is really good. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you are coming from Laura's channel, hi, thank you. Make sure to subscribe to mine and to follow me on my social media linked down below. So without further ado, I am going to share with you advice on how to survive high school. Now, I went for four years and it was very tough. And if you see me looking down on my phone, I have all my notes on how to survive high school in my notes section on my phone. So the first tip is to go into high school with a positive attitude. You don't want to walk into school with your face all down and sad about going into high school that you feel like you're not like, you don't want to be there. Think about all the cool things that you're going to learn. Think about all the exciting friends you're going to make, how much fun you're going to have. And just don't think about how hard the subjects are going to be. Just have a positive attitude and it will change your way of thinking about high school. My second t uh, tip is to meet new people. I was very shy the first two years of my high school, the first year I would say. Um, I was afraid people wouldn't like me. I would try to change who I am, which is don't change who you are, be yourself because you don't want to give the people, you don't want them to think of you differently. Like you want people to like you for who you are is what I'm trying to say. Um, so definitely meet new people, be outgoing, be your true self. Don't pretend you're something that you're not. If you don't want, if you are like the shy person, don't try to fit in with the popular crowd. Be your own person. Don't be shy. <laughs> Three is to join clubs. Now, a lot of high schools have clubs that are go on after school, like once a week. And I have to say, I joined SAD in my school, which is Students Against Drunk Drivers, and it was amazing. I feel like if you apply, if you want to go to college after your four years of high school, if you apply somewhere that's not community college, well, I go to community right now, but if you decide that you want to go away, colleges look at all your um, go things that you achieved in high school. So they like to see what clubs, how active you were. Another thing is that you have to try, Don't you don't have to, but I would suggest that you try out for a sports team. I made the mistake of not doing that because I can't do sports, but just try it. You might have a dance club if you like dancing. Try it out because if you put on your application for college that you've tried it out, and it's a great way to meet new people as well. So you'll go in and if you make the team, you'll meet people. So that goes back to what the meeting people thing, but just try out for a sports team if you're interested or if you just want to meet new people. It's a fun way to get involved with your school. Do all your homework. I know this is like a very simple one, but I would suggest to do it the night before or if they give you like a week in advance homework, do it a little at a time because I procrastinate a lot of things and homework was a big thing. Like I would try to squeeze it in before I went to my first period class and that was very hard. Like do that because do it the night before. Even if you have like, let's say you do a dance, homework comes first because again, with the college, colleges do look into what you did in high school and how your grades were and how your tests are. Just trust me, if you do your homework the night before, you would feel more motivated to go into the class like that you learned something because if you just brush it, you're going to feel a little stressed out and that's not what they want to do. And six is an obvious tip number six is to study hard. You know, if you have a test, let's say Friday and you were given two weeks in advance, study maybe a half an hour to an hour each night. I made the mistake of not doing that, but you should do it because you would get so much better grades and you're thinking why would people care even if you're just going into high school because again colleges do look at all years in high school they don't just look at 11th and 12th grade they take the 9th 10th 11th and 12th they might not think if you did that like if you didn't do good in ninth grade and you did better in 10th they're going to be like oh that's good but if they keep going up and down you want it like a steady average so you would get into a good college do not skip classes. A lot of people skip classes to go to lunch and a lot of times you get caught. I skipped a class and I got caught. 
and then I had detention and it sucked and it does go on your record so make sure you do not skip classes I know it sounds lame even if you're in a bad mood or tired just go to that class get it over with and then you'll come home relax and you'll be happy that you did not skip because your friend could have gotten in trouble could have gotten caught don't do peer pressure trust me it sucks um, eat is go to bed early and you will go to school wide awake and you will have a great attitude if you go to bed at like 2 in the morning you have to wake up at 6 you're gonna feel so tired and not willing to work your, heart, your hardest you're gonna think oh I just want this day to go by you'll be looking at your phone you'll be doing everything but you want to at least get eight hours of sleep I my mom my first year of high school made me go to bed at nine o'clock which obviously the next couple of years I went to bed at 10 11 but don't I mean you can do that but just don't go to bed past midnight because then you won't have the motivation to do your work or to try hard you'll be too tired and you'll be out of energy and don't think oh there's energy drinks for that there's starbucks because then you'll just crash during one of the classes and that's not good because then you'll miss something important for a test or an exam or for your homework so uh, yeah nine is to print a copy of your schedule now, I know a lot of people just look at their phones. You could do that, but another good thing is to make your schedule for the first two weeks your lock screen on your phone because I feel like I've heard this in other YouTubers, but if you make your schedule your lock screen, you'll be able to look at it and you can still feel cool, but you can look at it and be like, oh, that's easy. So if you are allowed to use your phones during school, I suggest that. If you're not, I mean like in between the bells. If you're not allowed to at all bring your phones, then have a printout of your schedule because I feel like they only give you like a week to memorize your class schedules and then the next week they'll be yell at you and be like, why are you late? So just try and remember with your phone screensaver. And the last tip I have for you is to be positive. Again, that was kind of like number one, but go in with a positive attitude and you'll have a great year. So I hope those tips were very helpful. Now, don't forget to check out Laura Jane's channel. I will link her channel down below. She is amazing. We, I was so happy to do this collab with her. We are actually meeting up in September, which I'm very excited to see. She lives in New Zealand and she makes amazing videos. And again, if you came from Laura's channel, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know about your tips and videos that you'd like to see for back to school in the comments down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Follow me on my social media and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Love you guys and have a great day. Bye.